What if I told you that one of the most reliable and most mysterious meteor showers of the entire year comes from a rock, not a comet, and in just a few days, Earth will pass straight through its debris field, triggering up to 120 meteors per hour, streaking across the sky at nearly 78,000 miles per hour. This is the Geminides, and they're unlike anything else we see. Welcome back to Interstellar Evidence. Tonight, we're diving deep into the story of a meteor shower that breaks almost every rule in the astronomy textbooks. A meteor shower born from an object that behaves like nothing else in our solar system. If you've never seen a meteor shower in your life, this is the one you don't want to miss. Let's begin. Most meteor showers come from soft, icy comets that melt a little each time they swing past the sun. Their tails peel away gently, like dust drifting from a snowball. But the Geminides don't follow those rules. They come from something tougher, harder. A strange rocky object named 3200 Phaethon, an asteroid that acts just enough like a comet to confuse scientists. Phaethon is what some astronomers call a rock comet. It doesn't have ice. It doesn't have a tail made of vapor. It's dry, cracked, solid. Yet somehow, it still gives off debris that forms one of the most beautiful meteor showers of the year. Imagine a stone wandering the solar system, traveling so close to the sun that its surface heats to more than 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit. That kind of heat can shatter rocks, lifting dust violently into space. That dust spreads out along Phaethon's orbit, and every December, Earth flies right through it. Because Gemini meteors are made of dense, rocky material, they enter the atmosphere differently. They glow brighter, burn longer, and leave thick, colorful trails that linger across the night sky. Some flash white, some glow green or yellow, some leave behind smoke-like streaks that twist for several seconds before fading. The Geminides are powerful, and they're consistent. Even when other meteor showers disappoint, the Geminids deliver. The peak arrives on December 13th and 14th, when Earth passes through the thickest part of the dust stream. On those nights, the sky can erupt with more than 100 to 120 meteors per hour, sometimes even more under perfect dark skies. That's two meteors per minute, for hours. So if you're planning to watch, here's how to get the best view. First, go out between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. This is when the radiant, the point where the meteors appear to come from, climbs highest in the sky. You don't need a telescope. You don't need a camera. Just your eyes and a little patience. Face toward the constellation Gemini, rising in the northeast. You'll find the two bright stars, Castor and Pollux, but you don't need to look directly at them. Geminides shoot across the entire sky, sometimes appearing far from their origin. Try to find the darkest spot you can. A quiet rooftop, an open field, a hill away from streetlights. Let your eyes adjust for at least 20 minutes. Avoid phone screens. They reset your night vision instantly. Dress warm. December nights can be brutal. And the best meteor moments always seem to happen right when you think about going inside. One of the things that makes the Geminides special is how bright they are. Even if you live in a city with light pollution, you'll still catch many of them. But if you can escape the lights even just a little, the shower transforms. Suddenly, every few seconds, a streak flashes across the black canvas above you. Some last half a second. Some glide for two or three. Occasionally, a blazing fireball will explode brighter than Venus. It's one of the few natural events where everyone on Earth sees the same cosmic performance at the same time. But behind the beauty where lies a mystery. Why does Phaethon, a rock, behave like a comet? Why does it shed dust if it isn't made of ice? Why is its debris so dense, so bright, and so consistent year after year? Scientists think the answer lies in Phaethon's dangerous orbit. It passes closer to the sun than any other named asteroid, closer even than Mercury. At that distance, the sun's heat is enough to tear rocks apart. Thermal cracking, solar radiation pressure, micrometeorite impacts, all contributing to this strange behavior. As Phaethon approaches the sun, its outer layers heat up so fast they expand violently, fracturing into dust and shards. 
Those pieces drift along its orbit, forming a thick river of material that Earth plows through every December. The Geminides are essentially a cosmic trail of broken stones, burning up above us in slow motion. Studying the Geminides helps scientists answer deeper questions. How do asteroids evolve over millions of years? How do dust streams form and disperse? What happens when solid rock is pushed to its thermal limits? And how does Earth's atmosphere react to dense, fast-moving debris? Every meteor is a clue. Every flash is a tiny piece of faith on. A fragment of a world that's been traveling through space for billions of years, now vaporizing in a brief burst of light above your head. Some Gemini particles are older than humanity, older than the pyramids, older than the first civilizations. In a way, when you watch a meteor streak through the sky, you're watching the final moment of a rock that has been orbiting the sun longer than human history itself. The Geminides also play a role in understanding planetary defense. Their parent body, Phaethon, is classified as a potentially hazardous asteroid because of its size and orbit. Studying the debris it produces helps scientists model how much material Phaethon loses over time and how its orbit may shift over centuries or thousands of years. Ironically, a meteor shower we watch for beauty also helps us better predict which asteroids might one day threaten Earth. And there's another layer to this story. Phaethon is part of the Phaethon Geminide complex, a group of dust trails, fragments, and strange objects thought to be connected to a massive breakup event long ago. Some astronomers believe Phaethon is just the surviving core of something larger that shattered ages ago. The Geminides may be the only remains of that ancient destruction, a glowing memory scattered across the night sky. So when you step outside to watch this shower, you're not just watching meteors, you're watching the aftermath of a cosmic collision that happened long before humans existed. The Geminides are a reminder that the solar system is not quiet, it's alive, dynamic, always shifting, always breaking, always creating new patterns of beauty through the constant motion of destruction and rebirth. If you're planning to watch the Geminids this year, tell me in the comments where you'll be sky watching from. It's always incredible to see viewers from different parts of the world sharing the same sky. If you enjoyed this calm, cinematic journey, make sure to subscribe and watch my next video on interstellar comets, including the incredible 3i Atlas encounter. There's a whole universe of stories waiting for us.